Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Mad Stacker here. Uh, I haven't been here in a long time. I don't think you've made a video since before we moved. No, that's not true. I made a video once. There was a Mad Stacker that happened upstairs in my office. Well, that wasn't the city though. That doesn't count. No, exactly. So this is this is the, your first visit to Stackville since we moved into the new place. I know it's it's long overdue at this point, but uh, I was waiting to get some last minute. I don't I don't like to show it, you know, ha halfway done. I like to show it to you when it looks nice and. Everything's all set up wonderfully. So, w without further ado, I think let's come out and see. The whole thing obviously is is much much larger now, as you can see. There's a train. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen you know snippets of this, uh, basically without really We've seeing the whole the, thing all at once. Like the Home Depot uh, table saw for not breaking that or for breaking that day. It was a Lowe's, but also yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Lowe's for giving me an extra foot of table space because their saw was broken. Um, so let's, I guess we'll just sort of, sort of go in and you can see everything as it goes well, through. Your table now, Bob. It's four by eight and that's, that's the original the original table was three by five. So there's a significant, significant additional amount of space now. But uh, there we go. He's a razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle Johnson is going nowhere. He will always be in my city, always. You're welcome for that. I mean, there's some uh, there's some crazy police action going on over this side of town. There's definitely like some police chases happening, and there's some there's some guys over here. We got Snake Cop, and he's got this guy who's gonna drop the cure for cancer off the hospital, so he's trying to stop him. I hope he does. Cancer would be good. Do, do do many figures get cancer? Is that a thing? I think that got real dark. It did briefly. All right, moving right along. Couple people. Oh no. They mixed up the signs at the recycling thing. Someone's very put off by that. I don't know why. It's it's very confusing. Not really. Oh, there's this farmer. He's very worried about his pig that might get hit by this taxi. By the way, this is um, this is a concept for a new show on television. This is Taxi Taxi Piver. He uh, he asks you questions, and instead of if you get them right, you get money. If you get them wrong, he throws a pie in your face. So I don't know how long this show is gonna last. It's really. The concept is is not a hundred percent there. It's gonna be on like public television. Hey, look at Alan. <laughs> he's waiting for the bus. Waiting for this. There's a kid, a, a, a small child over here, and he's pulling a wagon. And I'm not a hundred percent sure what the creature is on the side of it. Excellent toupee, though. Definitely, the hair really it really ties the whole thing together. There's Cary Grant in his vehicle with a silver frog upon the front. Oh, who's that back there? It's Ficken Bricks. Ficken Bricks is checking out comics at the newsstand. That's not surprising. Maybe he's going to grab that squishy, too. He loves them. They're so delicious. Oh, cops getting pizza. Oh, uh-oh. Looks like, well, Vitruvius is up here. I don't know what's going on up there. We got Danger Baby. We got Senior Pinchy oh with his dynamite. He's threatening to blow up the pizzeria. I hope he doesn't. Danger Baby's going to stop him. There's some... Uh, there's some fun going on at the bank. We got the, the new bank owners sort of moving in, investigating everything. You can see uh, alien guys up there. Squid Face. Squid Face, Sharkman, and Growls. Look at him. Growls is watching the door. Good thing Batman's here. I don't know what. He looks like he might just be sort of like dancing around Batman. He's, looks, just, he's just there for a second. He looks pretty, he looks pretty turnt. He's the first one. Emmett's, uh, Emmett's helping out with the... Uh, uh, the, the, the social order. He's he's making sure there's a bench there for people at that bus stop. He's a stool. Go on, sit on him. Uh, he's a balloon cart serving the kitties. There's sort of like a like an outdoor festival type thing you can see going on back there. We'll we'll, we'll take you back there going in a little bit. But uh, I'm not sure. It looks like Professor Monkey for a head has found some sort of um, small feline and he's attempting to. Uh, give it all the authority that it requires to rule over the animals in the park. I'm not sure. I think it's a cult. I'm not. Well, it might be. I'm really not sure. But uh, one of the park rangers is back there. I think uh, he's got some some dastardly ends for him. Oh look, a little picnic. Aww. Roasted marshmallows. There's a lot of like cherries and baguettes. Is that a weird combination for a picnic? It, it's like you know the cherries were gonna go bad. And the bread, you know, you need to finish that. So you're just like, let's just grab what we have. Let's to go. let's take it. Let's take it and yeah. go. We got a little lake over here with some uh, with some criminals. They're trying to. Hey, look, it's it's Young Bull and Beardy, I believe, of the uh, of the swamp criminals. And there's there's some really weird wildlife in this tiny pond here. I mean, we got a we got a 
a soul shark over here. We got an alligator over there. Pointing to your phone. We got an aqua shark over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Point to real life. But they can they can see. They can see. Look. I'm actually filming you filming. The rare and wonderful aqua shark. Oh, is that a lady aqua shark? I believe it is. It's a, a but this is this is one of uh, one of the newest members of the Stackville Park Service. I'm not sure. Does she have a name yet? Um, Susan. Just, Susan Skeeter. Oh my god. I think she looks she looks ravishing today, but she drives a swamp boat. I think she's pretty good at that. Oh no, it's uh, Childish Revolt eighty eight is is running away from some sort of chicken headed robot. I don't know how that happened. It's I... the chicken overlords. Oh god, oh god. There's some twisted things that go on in this city. Kind of like this old man Chewbacca yelling at the sun. Go away, son. I don't like you. He also you, has a claw. You confuse me. He he has a claw. Yeah, one of his hands has been replaced by a hook. He's seen things. That Chewbacca. Whew. We got another one of the another one of the park rangers there. He's keeping an eye on things. He's keeping an <laughs> eye on this uh, on this ceremony going on over here. And of course, Yoga Robot. He is he's up early in the morning. He is just doing his thing. His calisthenics, as they are. Ugh. You got to stay limber, really. That's that's the key when you when you're starting to get up into old age. There, you're gonna move right across the railroad tracks here. You can see. Hey, look, there's me. I got, oh, oh, I think I'm bringing some flowers for my sweetie. I'm trying to hide them while she's over there walking her elephant. Aww. Does the elephant have a name? Um, elephant, remember? Oh, that's right. It's just elephant. It's elephant. It's like an ape named ape. Okay, that makes it's sense. dog named dog. Do that's another thing. There's Morty over there. Morty, driving the go-kart. What are you doing? Wow. I don't know what's going on. There seems to be like a, a, a clash of titans back here. There's some sort of demonic police... Uh, kabuki winged thing and of course Jack McHammer because if you can't have a robot arm and hammer what are you doing? Arm and hammer! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god now we're going to have to pay licensing fees. Swing around the side here we got a couple people playing some arcade games which you, you may find familiar. We got Bricksmith 78 and we got Maniac for Bricks and they're, they're playing the games eating, getting some chow down. Bricksmith 78 I could eat. Is he, it looks like maybe he's playing the game with the chicken leg. I mean, why not? He's like hitting hitting the controller with the chicken leg. I can see that. I'd like to give that that's, a shot. That's the only should... thing is, that, you know, fried chicken doesn't add, you know, you can't use a touch screen with it. So if we could, can't use a touch screen if with we could do it's the, next, the next iPhone, if we could do the chicken wing the chicken, interface. <laughs> chicken wing stylus, it's so delicious. Oh, yeah, like I said, we got sort of a, you know, a little street carnival. We got the road closed off here for some some stands to come in. We got my, my buddy John and we got Hinjabi the headbutting genie. Yeah. They're enjoying some treats from the food trucks. Cyber Dave there stopping off for a, for a refreshment, of course, after coming back from his position. Cyber Dave, Cyber Dave's one of those guys where you don't you don't really know what it is he does, but he does some some cool stuff and then he always shows up afterward. And I don't remember what did I name this guy Heinrich von we von von Wiener. I, you did not tell me yeah, that. Yeah, he came so from the old. All in your head. He came from the old country. He has a dark and brooding past. That's why he has a robot leg. But he cooks a mean wiener. Let me tell you. Let's, but let's go on to the next segment. No one's in his cart though. It's weird. Um, he ran out. And of course, we got bricks for Chris over here. He's mm -hmm. watching his store. Mm -hmm. Bikes for Chris. And there's the crazy dragon man on the top. He's got like a meat sword. I don't know what's going on, but he's he's kind of intense. I don't think he does either. Back there at the bike shop, we got some plenty plenty of familiar faces over here. We got who? Let me see see if we can navigate around this. There's Cookies Bricks enjoying his morning pastry. Bubba Bricks is she's currently turned for pie. Bubba Bricks, let the pastry take you over, Bubba Bricks. So delicious, very creamy. I'm not going to do anything more than that. I knocked yeah. over somebody, so let me let me fix that and. There's Classy Bricks. He's looking very confused over that baguette. He's like, why do I have this large piece of bread? I'm confused. Uh -huh. Big Bree, Big, big Bree, Big Bree, <laughs> Big Bree, Big Bricks, Breestman. He is up there on the uh, on the balcony of his bungalow waving to those below. There's Salah's Pizza. He's going to deliver best quality pizza. Is that racist? I hope not. I don't know. I thought I called, I thought we named him Stabby's Pizza. Stabby's Pizza? Is that it? Mm -hmm. This definitely looks like Salah from Indiana Jones, though. There's the biker gang rolling along like they do. And uh, some kind of Wookiee, is this like a Wookiee block party? Mm -hmm. Definitely, they're just like music, making music, having good There's times. In the 
Wookie and the Wooks. Hey, hey, we're the Wookies. People say we Wookie around. There's one. There's one Wookie up here, and he's. He looks like he's quite angry. I don't know what what this interloper is doing in the city. I, I, hate, but... when, I hate when he shows up on the road. <laughs> Sometimes he, he just shows up with your gutter. It's and confusing. It's like, come on. It's confusing. We got my friend. My friend Phoebe moved in next door to the Wookie, so she's a little confused right now. And of course, there he is. It's Presto, the pantsless magician. He's just sort of like hanging out on top of the bus. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he was thinking. He's very, he's very confused. And hovering above everything, in case you haven't seen it. Oh, it's Clutch. He made away with all the all the briefcases of green. I don't know what's in him, but it's, he probably likes it. That, but he's still not happy. He'll never be happy. So sad. Benny's hanging out underneath. He's just like, hello. Oh, he figured maybe the balloon could get him to space. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm fine. So that's wow. I'm uh, I'm surprised we were able to get through it this quickly. You can see some of the other buildings over there. There's Dino Dino skateboard guy. Definitely forgot his hat at home, but he's still uh, he's still making it work. He should well, be wearing his helmet. That's what he should be doing. He should be. It's not safe skateboarding along the top of a building like that. So last but not least, before we uh, finish anything up, I'm going to let you see the train running. And I got my control sort of sort of decked out down here so you can see that. And let's... I really like the high-speed passenger train. Don't kill me. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this next train to Stackville rides again. And, you know, now hopefully there should be m more of them to see in the future as we try to get back to some semblance of a regular city update schedule. But we'll see how that goes with the next couple of months. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know we enjoyed making it. And uh, as I always say, usually say, most of the time I say it, keep stacking. <laughs>